In this lesson, we're going to get a lot more technical about Photoshop. And this lesson is all about bit depth information. Now, you may be wondering why we're going over this and you're probably ready to just get started in Photoshop, but we need a better understanding of what Photoshop is and what it isn't. So we have a better idea of what we can do and what we cannot do in Photoshop. So understanding bit depth will give you more of the essential elements you need to fully understand what's going on in Photoshop. The more you know and understand, the easier and more productive it will be for you to complete your creative vision. So in this lesson, I'm gonna talk about the color of your image and how it relates to the bit depth of that image. Now, this is just gonna be a basic overview and we'll go into more detail about this in the section on color correction. And it's also gonna make a lot more sense when you get to that section. So let's go up to the image mode and you're gonna see that we have an 8-bit, 16-bit, and a 32-bit channel. So what exactly is bit depth? Well, I'm glad you asked. Bit depth refers to the color information stored in your image. The higher the bit depth of an image, the more colors it can store. So most photos are created as an 8-bit image, like this one. An 8-bit photo can store 256 possible colors per channel. And compare that to a 16-bit image, which can display roughly 16,000 colors per channel. In addition to the image resolution, the bit depth determines the size of your image. If you take this 8-bit image and convert it to a 16-bit image, then the size of the file will double. Then if you convert it to 32 bits, it's going to double again. So let's take a look at the color channels in the channels panel. Here, we can see four different channels. One is the RGB, which is all three colors combined, to make the color image. Then we have individual channels for red, green, and blue. Now because this image is an 8-bit image, then the red channel has 256 possible colors, the green has 256 possible colors, and the blue also has, that's right, 256 possible colors. Now if you multiply 256 by 256 by 256, that equals 16,777,216 possible colors. Now, if you change this image to 16-bit, then each channel has around 16,000 available colors per channel. And if you multiply 16,000 times itself, and then times itself again, that equals over 4 trillion colors. Oh my, that's a lot of colors. Now you may be wondering, how does this information help us? Well, it depends on how important color is to you. For example, if you convert an 8-bit image to 16 bits, it will give you more possible colors for precise control over color correcting your image. So, should you change your 8-bit image to 16-bit? Well, that depends on your workflow and how you want to color correct your images. If you want more precise control of your colors, then I suggest working in 16 bits. But what about 32 bits? Again, that's up to you. Personally, I think it's overkill. Now you know bit depth, and once you complete the section on color correction, you're gonna have a better idea what will be best for your workflow. All right, in the next lesson, we're gonna go over raster versus vector images and again, this will give you a better understanding of what you can and cannot do with Photoshop.